Hi, welcome to this wonderful tutorial on Adobe Photoshop Toolbar. Adobe Photoshop Toolbar is one of the most essential feature in Photoshop. It is actually the heart and soul of Photoshop. So let's begin on this tour of the toolbar. Toolbar, as I said, is the heart and soul of Photoshop. So every tool in the toolbar has a specific option and role. So toolbar is located on the left hand side in the Photoshop workspace. So basically to use any tool, you just click on the toolbox and select the tool. Every tool comes with a hot key. When I mean by hot key, I mean short key. And perfecting these short keys, learning keyboard shortcuts for every tool is what will make you a Photoshop expert. Also, every tool have some variations listed in the optional bar just behind the menu bar. So click at the toolbar, select a tool or click or use a hotkey to select a tool. With the tool you have, every tool has various options just below the menu bar. Use those variations and create amazing effects in Photoshop. So let's just dive in Photoshop and use the tools to create wonderful effects. Let's begin. Beginning this tutorial, we will discuss the toolbox in detail. So this is where my toolbox is on the left. You can make a, a click here and make it a two button. So this is my move tool and the artboard tool here. I have my, just quickly going through all the tools. I have my marquee tool here, which makes a rectangular or circular or single line selections. I have my lasso tool, which again for selection in different variants, again a selection tool. I have, okay, so let's get started, got started. I have my quick selection tool, again a selection tool and the magic wand tool. If you're gonna use this, uh, these selection tools in different cases, we have a crop tool, a slice tool, the crop tool is used to crop our item, so it just did that. And I have this eyedropper tool which can help us to take the samples of any color. I have this ruler tool for creating uh, guides on my image. I have my note tool for writing notes. I have my spot healing tool for removing blemishes. My patch tool, content aware tool, basically it's used to remove any disturbances in the image. I have my brush and my pencil tool. I have my clone stamp tool which helps us to uh, replace any image with the source samples which we have. I have my history brush which helps me go back to my stages. I have my eraser tool which has three very powerful tools. I have my gradient tool for variations of colors and I have my paint bucket tool which paints the entire image. I have my tools for blurring and sharpening the image. I have tools for basically changing the color tones. I have tools for creating parts using the pen tool. So this is the one. I have T for basically typing in any uh, tool like you have to add a text, we use the type tool. I can actually make shapes, vector shapes using these options. I can zoom around, go anywhere. I have a hand tool, I can zoom it. This one happened, it's a background layer. And I have the zoom tool for zooming in. So this is about the toolbox. Now we will go on each toolbar and do it clearly in detail. So let's go on and understand each tool in the toolbox.